What are you feeling right now? Like I'm gonna cry and like, I'm just so disappointed in myself. <laughs> My breakup was hard because I loved her. It's hard to forgive myself. Is what I'm doing with my life good enough, meaningful enough? Who are you? What's the deeper truth? Let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Spiritual psychology is the study and the experience of the human consciousness. I thought I would just start by asking you if you had an intention. My intention is to feel fulfilled and to treat myself like I would my own best friend, understanding that I'm worthy of that treatment. My intention is just to find that center of happiness um, and balance within myself. How have you been attempting to experience that balance and that centeredness? I'm not really sure, actually other than just wanting to be more balanced and wanting to be happier. It's good to sort of take note of this is my heartfelt intention and then look at how have I been striving to achieve that. In my experience, as soon as I strive for something, I step away from the experience of actually having it now. So instead of not wanting to feel unhappy, I invite you to experience fully the unhappiness. It's not to experience the story of unhappiness, not in the mind, but to drop into the sensation through the body. Is there some part of you that feels unlovable? It comes up when I play soccer. I play professionally and I can't play pickup soccer without wanting to live up to other people's expectations. Yay for me, first therapy session ever on camera. It's bizarre and wild. I'll just make it simplistic, two ways to do this type of work. And one is to support you in being better and more and improve. And the other is to just question the essential misunderstanding that you're not enough. And I tend towards the Option second. Option B sounds yeah. great. And it's not about saying, oh, that's not true from a logical point, right? Because there's some type of conditioning, some type of makeup that has us really feel like that can be true at times, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, and so we sort of put on these goggles and we have not enough, and the other option is to really just take off the goggles and look at them from a more objective point of view. She was really good about asking the questions that allowed you to get yourself to the right answer. Do you notice anything in your direct experience in your body right now that taps into the unworthy or the not enough? Yeah, like tightness in my jaw, you know, like clenched teeth a little bit. Let's take a moment just to stay with that sensation, breathing into it. Are you present to any unhappiness in your body, in your experience right now? Yeah. Where do you experience that in your body? Here. Without thinking about it, just staying with the direct experience in your chest. Just breathe into it without trying to change it. I was in a relationship for four years. Yeah, it sucks that we're not together anymore. And what do you notice? It's okay just to let whatever come up. So just stay with that without trying to resist it. It's okay. For me, love is everything. There's no other explanation about why my breakup was hard other than I loved her. It's okay, Mom. Just let that come up. <laughs> the hardest part has been accepting the reality that my own faults had a lot to do with it. Your intention, what I heard, is to have a more fulfilling life, to 
treat yourself like your own best friend. A year and a half ago, I was playing professional soccer and living a totally different life. So I'm really at a place of finding out like what it is that I want to pursue. It was what I'm doing with my life, good enough, big enough, meaningful enough. And I'm wondering if you would be open to trying a process where we let this energy that's alive of not enough speak in this chair and speak to this loving, supportive, nurturing best friend. I wonder what it would be like for them to have a dialogue. The main part of the therapy was two chairs across from each other, one being your self you need to work on, that either they're not loving or it's angry or it's issues, and the other being the, this healing, loving part of you, your best friend. Okay, so I'm just gonna step right here. Okay, and I'm talking to the chair. You are. Okay. Who is your best friend? Oh. So, after like years of being this prodigy and getting called up to all these different teams, like it hit my senior year that I was never really gonna make it. I was captain of the team, I felt the weight to like carry this team on my shoulders. And I remember I kept missing passes and it's like the most dangerous thing you can do as a center back. The f am I doing? I've been playing soccer for 20 years of my life and dedicating to it and I'm missing a simple pass, and this is it. This is like the final like, moments of my career. There's nothing beyond this, and I'm like making the same mistakes. Like, I'm such a loser. What are you feeling right now? Like, I'm gonna cry, and like, I'm just so disappointed in myself. And so take as much time as you need and trust yourself when it feels right to sit in this other chair. I don't know how to be that chair. I felt so embarrassed that I cared so much, but like never reached my dream. That's the angry part of me. It inspires a rage almost.